Hey everybody, just wanted to say happy Independence Day, not happy 4th of July. That's just a date on a calendar. Today is the day we celebrate our independence from them fucks the Brits. And 248 years later, I believe my math is right, we are in the same bad, bad trouble we were back when the king ruled us. Because now it's Biden or whoever's behind him pulling the strings ruling us. But... I'm not going to get political, just want to leave a short video and say happy independence, motherfuckers, to all my bad son of a bitches out there. And if it comes down to it, I know we are all going to fight for what is right or go to our graves doing it. It's time to protect our families, our kids, and our grandkids. I don't have any of that, unfortunately. Lost my son 10 years ago. It'll be 10 years ago this year. My only son just lost my dad. So... No pity party here. I got nothing to lose, but I got everything to gain. And I will help keep this country free if that's what it takes. I did it for 22 and a half years, was medically discharged, but I can still shoot. I can still jog and I can still help. I know a lot of you out there still can, even though you might be in a bad place mentally or physically, just do what I ask you to do or do what the country asks you to do, not me. We need to protect our freedoms. Um, I see a lot of stuff online about people talking shit on these uh, videos, you know, with comments and all this other stuff with people they follow, you know, I'll be there, I'll do this, I'll do that. I was down on the border back in 06 when Bush had the National Guard down there to help while they were hiring more Border Patrol agents. And you can have unlimited amounts of border patrol agents but it ain't going to help you a damn bit if all they're doing is catching them processing them and releasing them into our country this is an invasion unfortunately i know people who have passed away because of all the fentanyl that's coming across this country and across our border and into every state every state is a border state so take a little time think about where we are today celebrate independence day our independence from the Brits and have a good time, have a good barbecue. But after today, it's got to be on your mind in the forefront that we need to protect our kids from these animals. We need to protect our grandkids from these this, this debt we're in. And first and foremost, we need to protect us, the American people, the American citizen, not these foreigners that are coming in illegally. They are illegal aliens. There is no other word for it. I just wanted to stop and take a minute and uh, put this video out there. Um, please like and subscribe my channel. You know, blah, blah, blah. I really don't care if you do or not. Um, I'm not doing it to get over 500 subscribers to monetize this channel. I, I'll do whatever it takes just to get to a couple of veterans and make them think that or make them feel like it's okay to feel bad it's okay to be depressed it's okay to not want to do much but this is also my two-year anniversary with my service dog ellie there she is well you can't see her but i'll put her down here she's right there enjoying the day looking for squirrels right now but she's my service dog from canines for warriors um they're the largest service dog organization in the country down in ponte Vedra. Florida, and they also have another place in um, San Antonio now where they train. So if you're out there and you're a veteran, you think you may need a service dog, an ADA service dog, or you know a veteran out there that may need a service dog to get them out of the house, to get them to do stuff, to get them to go back out in public, um, please look up Canines for Warriors. This dog has saved my life. Uh, in the last two years since I've gotten her, it was the 4th of July when I met her down in Florida for the first time. She has been a lifesaver to me, and I know so many veterans that have been down there and gotten dogs from them and other places, and it has saved more veterans' lives than anybody can imagine. So, just to finish off, happy Independence Day, everybody. Let's remember... Freedom doesn't come free, and right now, 
we're in the fight of our lives between now and November 5th. Things need to change on November 5th because they're not going to change in between now and then. Um, I mean, if the sergeant of arms in the legislative branch of our government had any balls, he would have arrested Biden already. The man has broken the law. He has disregarded uh, Supreme Court rulings twice on the student loan forgiveness program, which is illegal, illegally taxing other people to pay for other people's shitty degrees. Anyway, I didn't want to get too much into politics or anything like that today, but since it is Independence Day, um, I needed to bring some stuff up that was bothering me. Uh, you won't see too much political stuff out of me, but every once in a while, if something big comes down or, you know, something that needs to be talked about, talked about, I'll talk about it. Um, you can either choose to listen or choose to like, not like, you can comment, you can say whatever you want to me. It don't, it don't hurt my feelings at all. I've got way thicker skin than that. So bring it on, you non-American fucks. If you see this video, please. If you want to fight me one-on-one, -on -one, if you want to discuss things one-on-one -on -one and be a, a, an adult and debate things, we can do that. We can have that conversation. I'll give you my email. But for all you others that believe that America is the greatest country on earth, happy Independence Day. Love y'all.